I think we can all be incredibly proud of our rich heritage spanning more than 150 years. From the very beginning, Standard Bank has always had a pioneering spirit that has caused us to be a key player in the expansion of industry on this continent. That spirit has been our strength throughout the 150 years of our existence. It goes back to 1862 when Standard Bank financed the wool boom. Sheep were being brought into the Eastern Cape in the early 1830s and they needed financing for exporting the wool back to Britain. In the 1870s it was the discovery of diamonds which took place near Kimberley in South Africa. Reading Richard Stain's book about um, hoisting the standard where he chronicles the history of the bank. He talks about the six-week journey by Oxwagon to be the first bank at the discovery of the site. And then having to move our safe filled with gold coins meant we had to cross the Vaal and at one time it was in flood. And there are some interesting stories about how the, the safe fell into the river and had to be retrieved by a whole bunch of bankers. I think compliance would have been very distressed at this. In the 1880s, we played a role in the discovery of gold, a very hazardous time. The guys, again, were having to pitch a tent out in the middle of nowhere, transport boxes of gold from the bank's safe via a horse-drawn mail coach. Imagine this, in the middle of the night, in the pitch dark, a complete stranger would ride off, picking up our box of gold and disappear into the night. There was no armed escort, no cash in transit support, um, a very, very different time and testament to the bravery of these guys. And then the influx of capital to build railroads and fuel the economy allowed the bank to spread its wings across South Africa and into the borders and across the borders of other countries. And if we look back at, at all these entrepreneurial initiatives, there are probably four key qualities that I think define us and have enabled Standard Bank to survive the past more than 150 years. The first characteristic is the willingness to push beyond boundaries. Standard Bank has a history of venturing into complete unknown territory. We, we don't wait for opportunities to present themselves first. We were the first bank on the diamond fields, the first bank on the gold fields of the Witwatersrand, Rand, as I said, in a tent. We were the first bank in northern Rhodesia, now Zambia, and in many parts of East and Central Africa. We are the only South African bank to venture boldly into emerging markets such as Turkey, Russia, Argentina and Brazil. I think the second um, characteristic is, is the ability to manage risk. These guys have really known what they're doing over the years. And this ability has led to a reputation for being solid, trustworthy and dependable. And what is a bank without being trustworthy? Standard Bank has always been profitable and has performed consistently well for our shareholders. I think there was only one year that we didn't pay our shareholders a dividend, and that was in 1865. Can you imagine, just a few years after being in business, we kind of nearly went out of business. The next key characteristic is our sense of community, the commitment to the societies in which we operate, with an emphasis on social transformation, and this has been part of our revered history over time. The bank has always lobbied for reform, has always been a fan of the underdog. We've been a leading supporter of the arts and its development, and a strong advocate and implementer of racial transformation and particularly in South Africa during the apartheid years. The bank has supported and led the financial sector charter with a drive to share ownership to black staff and to small business. Our Tatua initiative is testament to this. And the final key characteristic that I'd like to highlight is our leadership. We have been tremendously fortunate to have mostly had leaders of uncommon ability drive and vision at the top of our organisation. These people have played critical roles over the years. For example, one of our senior guys was trusted advisor to General Smuts, giving guidance through the World Wars and the Great Depression. Our leadership has always been ready to venture into uncharted territories. A recent example that many of us will be aware of is the warding off of the hostile takeover bid when the smaller Ned Bank tried to take over Standard Bank. And one of the more positive ones is the partnering with the world's biggest bank, ICBC. Really something groundbreaking and a testament to our leadership. These are some of the characteristics that have helped us to become Africa's biggest bank. And I believe that it's the same characteristics that will keep us relevant for the next 150 years to come.